going to see a genetics professional can come with many emotions. Anticipation of finding answers that may help your child feel better, a feeling of fear of what lies ahead and what your child's future might look like, and perhaps a feeling of being overwhelmed as you process all the new information and new words that you hear during the visit. This video and others in this series are aimed at helping you, your family, and your support system understand all of this new information and new vocabulary that you may hear from a geneticist, genetic counselor, or other medical professionals when speaking about genetics. Sometimes mutations or spelling errors occur in your DNA. This can sometimes change the meaning of the DNA, which can affect your body. Let's use the spelling of cat to help us understand how these errors work. Normally, this animal's name is spelled C-A-T. Sometimes a person might spell it K-A-T. Although spelling it with a K is technically wrong, you can still tell that they are referring to a cat. In genetics, sometimes the strand of DNA is also misspelled, but like this example, the meaning doesn't change. This is called benign, which means that the spelling error is not harmful and will not cause a genetic condition or disease. Other times, someone might spell cat as R-A-T. This time, the meaning of the word has dramatically changed. Instead of referring to a cat, it refers to a rat. This can cause a problem if the person wants to refer to a cat. This can also happen with DNA, where the spelling error completely changes the meaning. This is called pathogenic, which means that this spelling error can cause a genetic condition or disease. Other times, the spelling errors are not so understandable. If cat is spelled C-R-T, or C-E-T, or C-I-T, it is unclear what the person who is spelling the word is referring to. This can happen in genetics. Sometimes geneticists don't know how a spelling error can affect the meaning of your DNA, and therefore if it causes a genetic condition or disease or if it does not. These spelling errors are called variants of uncertain significance, or VUS for short. After many studies are done in the lab, scientists may know more about certain variants. For example, scientists might decide that C-E-T most likely means cat. In DNA, this means that the variant is likely benign or likely to not cause a genetic condition or disease. Other variants might be reclassified as likely pathogenic. For example, scientists might decide that CIT is not likely to refer to a cat. This means that the variant is likely to cause a genetic condition or disease. What does that mean for your symptoms or your diagnosis? If you get a genetic test result back that says you have a variant of uncertain significance, that means the doctors and scientists don't know yet if your spelling error causes a specific genetic diagnosis or disease. This doesn't mean you do have a genetic condition or disease, but it also doesn't mean that you don't have a genetic condition or disease. Doctors and scientists simply don't have enough information yet to know. Doctors will use family history and symptoms to address your current medical concern. In the future, doctors and scientists may know more about your variant.